thought I'll make a video about top 10 Mac shortcuts that we don't really, I mean, have a know-how of or we don't really use that often, but they're, they're really, you know, useful. The first one being, and I stumbled upon it, it's about those hot corners or if you want to lock your MacBook. You know, there's I, I, at least I couldn't find a proper shortcut for that, and I found out that if you go to your system preferences and then you go to desktop and screen saver, there's a way where you can, you know, screen saver, screen saver, well, not screen saver options, but go to hot corners and then you can lock your screen just like this. So what you do is, these are the four different areas of your screen. I've set it to over here on this on the corner, bottom right corner. And there's other things you can do over there too. Like for these other hot corners, you can do mission control or let's try it or something actually. Put display the screen, lock screen, desktop, mission control, and there's more actually. Start screensaver, disable screensaver, and so on. Let's do a launch pad for this corner. Let's do um, a notification center for this corner on the top right, and then let's do application windows for the left bottom. All right, let's try it out, see what happens. Boom, launch pad. Boom, notifications. Boom, no available windows, but I'm sure it would have worked had there any activity. And then, you know, the most important one for me, boom. So I hope you guys like that cool functionality. Number two on my list is pressing command and space together and um, you can find whatever you want to find over here you know in the spotlight search it's very handy um, and you all one more thing you can do is um, you can also drag and drop it anywhere you want basically let me try that there you go movie undo that there you go another cool feature that I found was if you go to your system preferences and you go under keyboard there's a way where you can modify your keys you know let's say if you're coming from Windows and you want to switch the command key to some other key that you want to use that you're using for Windows you can totally do that you just have to change the keys accordingly and will totally work. So that's another cool thing that I found. Again, you'll go to you go to your system preferences, keyboard, and then modifier keys. The number command. four would be the command and tab to tab between apps. And and tab to move between different applications that are open, I believe. Um, so let's say I want to go to Word, back to Chrome. I think it's the same command on uh, Windows as well. So the command and tap functionality still works on the Mac. All right, so the next item, which is number five, which made the list is command, option, and escape. Just like Windows, if you do command, alter, and delete, I believe, there's the same functionality here, and you can kill any task or any open application that way by force quitting it. Number six, pretty handy as well. This is the minimization functionality. Uh, you just hit Command plus M, and you gotta select that particular app. Uh, there you go. Pretty simple, Command M. 
The next item I have is the do not disturb mode. Obviously you use it on your phone, so there's a way you can use it on your MacBook too. There are two ways to do it. There's, you can go to your system preferences and um, go to your notifications and then activate it that way or you can go to your notification this way and just click the bottom of that screen there you go um, the next item I have on the list is just pressing the option key and just clicking so let's Okay, without clicking, let's see what the menu shows for the volume. And now let's click on option first and then click it. You'll see an expanded menu. And this applies to a lot of things. Um, let's click on here and see, no, not this one. But there are certain things where, you know, you can use this functionality on. If I click here, option, and then there you go, it's an expanded menu. All right, so the next item is option and then the Apple logo here. So you'll observe how the restart, shutdown, and um, I believe it's the logout. They have these three dots next to them, right? So if you press option and then the Apple logo, they disappear. Um, so this no dot no dots mean the confirmation step is removed. So you can perform any of the uh, any of the three commands in one fell swoop. And the other option you'll see is about this Mac changes to system system information with the three dots when you hit that option key after clicking the Apple logo. So when you click on system information, you'll get something like this about your hardware and some other inform important areas of your particular MacBook, the Apple Pay, audio, all those things. Pretty handy, I think. And just in case you want to hide any of those apps that are open and it's just annoying you all you have to do is hit command plus H boom 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 ta-da command and H subscribe good things